Hi everyone, Scrappy Kathy here with Scrap Squad Sunday. And this is the gorgeous original. Very minimalist, all the design kind of uh, hunkered over to one side with a couple fairly narrow strips of paper, torn paper. There looks like there's a little bit of mixed media underneath the uh, where the um, uh, photo cluster is. The photo cluster is very layered, and there are leaves and th and pieces of thread uh, coming out. So it's a really beautiful uh, page, and I'm going to try to replicate it on craft paper. I have um, papers from my kit that I formed for a challenge in, um, <clears throat> excuse me, in Rediscover Your Stash. And I'm going, I'm using uh, bits from there. Um, I do have a photo of John and me this, that was taken uh, on Valentine's Day in 2017. And the load prompt for today is about indulgences. And while there's nothing, uh, no, uh, there are no um, uh, food items, high or low calorie, uh, shown in this photo, it was Valentine's Day. So I'm pretty sure we were indulging in something that, uh, that was, um, that I, I probably wouldn't want to confess at a Weight Watchers meeting. And there's um, the other, the technique prompt was to use spots or circles. And so I have a stamp here that has uh, circles on it. I'm gonna kind of stamp it randomly. I'm not quite sure what order I'm gonna do things in. And I'm, I'm also gonna do some splatters with white ink, so. Let's see what we're going to do. My title's going to be this little uh, cut file. It's from a um, uh, Mind the Scrap kit that had some pre-cut uh, cut files. I have used a uh, tag die for both the tag and the little uh, hole reinforcer. I cut the hole reinforcer out of one of the same papers at, that I'm using. I pull these leaves out of the trash. I had cut them off of a sunflower for a layout I did yesterday. And I pull these out of my um, leaf sprig die um, left over again from a project from yesterday. Uh, I have a sunflower for John and a turtle for me. The tag, and I have an extra tag that I pulled from my Scrap Backwards kit that I thought maybe I could use somehow. Um, but let's get this party started. Uh, I kind of want to measure where these are going to go. And then before, before there's any paper glued down, I will do the, um, see that's kind of right about there. So I want my mixed media sort of right in that area. So nothing too, spectacular here. That's coming out kind of square-ish. That's coming out triangular. So I'm not really too happy with that. I'm hoping I cover most of that up. I didn't want it to look too um, uh, perfect, you know, 
to follow the, the shape of the stamp too perfectly because I just didn't. <laughs> I have some sequins there from the sea glass set. And I'm actually going to do some splatters after I put the papers down. Let me do that. This is from a musically oriented paper collection. And I'm not sure who by because there's guitars on one side and this red paper just looks like kind of um, uh, solid. It reads as a solid, but it has, um, gosh, I'm having, it has little cassette tapes, just a million little cassette tapes on it. And just as I'm sure there's um, this is from a Disney inspired simple stories line right here, this stripe, but the red is perfect. And I just want enough of the stripe showing. But just as I'm sure there's, there were there were some um, sweets indulgences on Valentine's Day, I'm sure there was music involved because we never went anywhere or did anything without music being involved. Okay, so that the stripes are done. Now I want to do some splatters over on the paper. And now I'm going to build the, while well, that dries and it shouldn't take too long. I'm going to build the photo cluster with some foam in between the layers. And I suppose it would be good to do that on camera up in the magic square here that <laughs> defines the field. I think I'm going to do that like that, and then maybe have this I think I'm going to turn this one this way. So I can cover on the agenda well let's see why don't I cover it this way and let it show down at the bottom okay so that will go there And then this will have some more foam. Let me get a, gotta consult my foam bucket here. There's a nice long piece. And I'm going to go 
here like so. And then I'm gonna put some more foam back here. So I'll use this piece. And that's gonna raise it up past the folded papers, I think. Okay, so now to build the cluster, I want the sunflower over kind of here on John's side. So, I'm going to get some foam that will let it sit there but be supported down here. I'm going to put that right there. And hope I can peel that off in a reasonable amount of time. Do that. And then I'm going to do the turtle up here by me. Since there's so many layers of foam, he's got to be supported as well. I'll let, I think I want him supported right there. So I'll put the foam there. Peel that off. And he's a sticker, which I didn't know when I first started using these. I ordered them from an Etsy shop. And I didn't know they were stickers. So I'm going to go this way. I think that's what I want to do. Maybe this way. Hmm. When it ha had the rigidity of a stick of a, with the backing on it. I kind of knew exactly what I was going to do. And I need some more foam over here to get it down to the paper level. So I'll remove that. And then I probably shouldn't have removed that. Um, well, I, I, I'm going to put this in that layer. I'm putting glue on both sides. Because I'm not sure where it'll make contact. Same thing here. And now I'm going to try layering this little leaf. Over top of that one. And this one. Over top of that one. And I have another one. That 
that can go down on this the same layer as this tag so that's glued in there and i have these other two leaf clusters that i'm going to glue right here on the back of this which still will raise it Okay, and I've got another one here. I may put it on the very lowest layer. still going to be a little higher because of the foam and i'll make sure okay so there is that i'm going to put a little foam behind this some of that narrow foam that's especially meant for uh cut files and um shaker pockets. I'm going to do it right here. This would be a great shaker pocket, but I'm not going to use it for that right now. I have another similar one in that set. Let me cut this in two. Put a small piece right there. I am going to put sequins in it, but they're not going to be in a shaker. I'm adhering this kind of across the horizontal bit of it. leaving the heart to be kind of curvable. I don't, I'm not sure if that's the right word. So, and I'll, let's see if this is ready. Okay. I'm not sure what I have to do to bridge the gap here, except maybe another piece of foam under here. Let's do that. And I'm gonna put some liquid adhesive to hold it down because from experience, I know I'm press this down a little bit right in that area. Okay, and the turtle doesn't The turtle doesn't stick to the bottom, even with the, well, it does now, and it's kind of a little on its side, and I'm okay with that look. And the dots don't look as kludgy as I thought they would. I'm, I'm happy with it. And now let's try this. There are a lot of little pieces of foam that have to be peeled. And as we've learned very painfully for all of us, my fingernails don't um, aren't the best at peeling. 
So it's usually not a pretty process. And I appreciate your sticking with me through it. Okay, so now I'm going to kind of insert that. right there and I'm going to tuck the foam in areas where I can see it. I don't know if you can see it or not, but if I can see it, I'm not, not happy with it. Okay, so there. All right, let me add some thread in among the leaves there. Let me just kind of, let me get a popsicle stick to tuck that under. Okay, and then I'm going to do some more up here. And I've kind of tried to color match those leaves and um, this tag and this thread to the blue color that's in that stripe. It, it doesn't really show that much, but I figure if I get close to it, I figure that the designer, the paper designer, thought that went well with the other colors. And if I've got the other colors pretty well represented, then I figure these colors will go nicely. Let me get that tucked back in there and that's kind of covering up the L in love but I think it's still readable all right now sequins I'm going to kind of Fill this area below the word love with glue and kind of pour the sequins in. And I'll kind of push them around. And then when I feel like they've stuck there, I'll shake them off. And I think we're done. And I've used, lot, I've torn into some papers that I've had. These papers are more than 10 years old. So is this one. Um, and they, this was in my uh, Scrap Backwards kit. It's relatively new, but I'm using Stash, and I'm darn proud of it. Let's see. And the, the challenge to build the kit and create with it was from uh, Rona Mallard, and it was brilliant for uh, Sarah Scraps to run her challenge first 
so that you build a kit that you can create for all the other challenges with. You can create with for all the other challenges. I don't, you can do all the other pages with. <laughs> do all the pages. And I think we're done. I'm going to um, obviously let these sequins dry and I will, um, I'll probably do a little bit of manipulating with them. And I'm, I'm noticing that while I like all these colors, the, the gold picks up the yellow of the sunflower and the yellow in the stripe here. And the brownish ones kind of pick up the um, craft background. I'm missing some red. So I may strategically add in a few little tiny red ones from this strawberry patch uh, collection. But I won't make you watch that. <laughs> I'll stop the video now. And I thank you very much for watching. Bye.